It is important that you need to sign up for a Dropbox account, which is the preferred method of transferring information to and from your TurboCash server. So once you have created a Dropbox account at dropbox.com, which is free of charge for a limited amount of data, the, the way Dropbox works is that it, it stores information on the cloud, but also stores a similar file on your local hard drive. And if you make a change to one, it gets updated with the other. So what you end up doing with the TurboCache system is saving data onto your Dropbox in the cloud and it automatically appears on your local disk. This is useful for things like PDF files or uploading uh, logo files, that sort of thing. So what you need to do is to make sure that you sign in using your Dropbox account. I'm just going to click on my default and click sign in. Then once you have entered your correct login information for your Dropbox account, you will then see that you are logged in as that particular user. You can then click the play button to launch the TurboCache multi-user system. This may take a few moments as it creates the instance and presents it to you in your browser. Notice how the Dropbox account is now attached. At the very bottom of the screen you'll be able to see that your Dropbox files are linked. You'll also see that there's a method of using the clipboard so that you can transfer information to and from your local machine onto the system here by using this clipboard. Other things that you need to note about the interface, the mainframe 2 interface, is that this should say 100%. Now, um, typically you want to try to get the browser window being as big as possible so that you can uh, get, gain maximum space to use your TurboCache program. Obviously some screens are limited. Typically laptop screens are smaller than desktop machines, but you should try to get as big a screen as possible. If you are struggling for screen space, you should click this option down here on the bottom right called Full Screen. I'm not going to do this now, but it takes up the entire uh, area of your screen and will give you the maximum resolution. Other information here that you can look down at the bottom is the distance from your server and how much lag time that you are experiencing as opposed to what's happening in the real time on the server and what is actually seeing on your screen. This should be as small as possible and is related to your internet connection and the distance that you are away from the server. The gear icon down here on the bottom right relates to specific items related to the TurboCache product itself. And here you can see that you can change resolution. So we've got it currently set to be the dynamic. So as you make the files bigger, it's going to improve your usability issues with the product. So you can leave it at dynamic and it will choose the, the, the best one. What you might have to do just to ensure that you, are, that you do get full resolution is to click this little restore button and maximize and it'll end up taking up the full screen and then you can continue being sure that you've got the maximum resolution that is available.